Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back with our tutorial number two. Uh, based off the small feedback I got, uh, it was actually pretty good. So I'm excited to see, uh, I'm excited to see that, and I'll definitely continue this series. Uh, I actually got a message from someone about explaining GUI interfaces. Um, GUI stands for Graphical User Interface, and what I'm going to show you today is actually uh, how how to interpret the on GUI function and then how to use it and how to easily understand it. So as you can see here, I've created a few things, uh, buttons and then a main menu screen. You can also use this for say an inventory or uh, a quest tab or uh, anything like that. You could even do it to change levels, you can do it to play game, load game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to create the background, the button, and then when you click the button, it's gonna say button pressed on the console. And then when you click play game, it's going to say loading game. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so this is exactly what you'll be creating. All right, go ahead and just start a new project, name whatever you want, and all we're going to have is a main camera. You don't need anything else for this. Here's my script. I'm going to go ahead and let me just show you real quick. That's what it looks like, okay? This is what it looks like. Now, let me show you how this is going to work. Okay. The point of my tutorials are interactive. If you saw what I just did, if now I have the code here, but what if I did this? What if I took all of this? Bam, it's gone. Now what? Can I do it again? And I was asked, let's do it. I would need to make those buttons, I need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and now look it's gone. So now, this is the whole point of my tutorial. I want you guys to be interactive. That's the only way you're going to learn this. That's the way I learned it, and that's the only way it's possible to learn. Um, if you're, you know, if you're exceptional and you can learn by following tutorials, and that's great, you know, continue at it. But for those who can't, like myself, this is going to help you. So you just saw me delete it, and now we're going to start from scratch. So go ahead and create a new C sharp file and name it my GUI. Well, you can name it whatever you want, it's up to you. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to open it up and we need to talk about what we want to, tr what we're doing. So, say you want to make, um, say you want to make a menu tab that has buttons that open up different menus. So, say you have a menu tab and you click one and then it opens up an inventory tab. So let's go ahead and do that because it can be useful for a lot of things. And by the way, I know there's a lot of assets that actually remove the entire like on GUI function. You can just use the asset and like no GUI and easy GUI. But as of right now, I'm personally not comfortable with any of the asset store things. I mean, I think they're really complicated. But if you want to check them out, feel free to. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll check them out and I'll do a tutorial on that as well. So just before I begin, let me just show you how it's possible for you to look this up on your own. By going to main menu, just go ahead and click the reference tab up here. And let's look at the on GUI function. Okay, on GUI. Okay, so here we go. So on GUI is called for rendering and handling graphic user interface events. Okay. And now what do we have in here? We have a graphic user interface, and that's how we create buttons and backgrounds. And then we have a rect. Now here is where this gets very intimidating, and I'm going to go over this entirely. Rect, it, it, it took me a while to understand what it meant, but it's actually rectangle. Okay, so don't let it intimidate you. So what this line here says is that if graphic user, and, and just remember, an if statement is true or false. So if graphic user interface button is pressed then it's gonna click it's gonna print back to the player you click the button okay now when you have when you put a button somewhere all you're doing with the rect is creating a rectangle so if gui.button which is graphic user interface button you have to place that button on your screen so here's how you do it you're gonna place a rectangle and the 10 10 150 100 is your um, is your top, this is your top, uh, the first one is your top left, this is from the top, and then this is your width, and then this is your height in pixels, okay, and then this is where the content goes, where it says I am a button, alright, 
So let's go ahead and just further look at rect. So as you can see, rect stands for rectangle. All right, it determines our height and our width. So I'm not sure what I just did there. Okay, so let's go back to mono develop. Okay, we're on mono develop, and what do we need to do? So the function for graphic user interface that follows the mono behavior is on GUI. So let's start with that. So you're gonna uh, you're gonna start a function and call it on GUI. Okay, just like that. Okay, now ask yourself what we want to do. I, I personally want to make a little menu bar that maybe it's going to open up an inventory. So how do we do this? How do I know what to do? So I know that I need a rectangle for everything. So in order, it's to, in order to make the menu tab, it's not focused on just the buttons. Our buttons need to be put in a menu tab. Let's go ahead and make a background. So what do we want to do? We want to make a background, make a background for the button. So how do we do that? So let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go ahead and start with graphic user interface. So graphic user interface dot, and let's search what we have. So here's our button. So we know we're going to use that, but let's see what else we have. Mm, none of these look like anything we could use. So let's go to the very top and here you look, you have box. You know what? That sounds perfect. We will put a button in a box. So go ahead and do that. You got box and then go ahead and open up your parentheses. And let's go ahead and make a rectangle. So you've got new rectangle. Okay, it's short for rect. And then you have your content here. Okay, and now let me go over this again. So you have your graphic user interface. We're gonna make a background box. Okay, we're gonna this the box is the background, and then this is gonna form the box, the new rectangle. Okay, and then here. This is where what we're going to display as the box background or the box header, which is content. Okay? Now you don't need to have a header. If you don't want a header, just say, hey, just remove it, okay? It's not a big deal. So here is what we do for rec. So let me see if I can explain this very well. So we have a new rectangle and we have it from the from top left, okay, everything starts at the very top of the left at zero, zero. So if I were to write, so we need a, actually, you know what, I think it actually tells you. So look at this. It says rect float left, float top, float width, and float height. Now what that means is if I were to put 10, that's 10 pixels from the left, 10 pixels from the top, and then my width is going to be, say, I don't know, what should we do? Width is going to be, say, 100 pixels. My width will be 100 pixels, and my height will be 90. Yeah, you know what? No, let's make my height, like, 200. Make a quest tab. Let's make a, let's make a, uh, let's make a menu. Okay, so you have that, comma, and then you have your content here, which is going to say menu. So let's just go ahead and save that and see what that does. Okay, open up Unity. Let's close this out. All right, and now go ahead and attach your G my GUI script to your main camera. Okay, go ahead and run your project. All right, and there we go. Look at that. We have a menu, and here we go. There's our menu. There's our menu uh, tab or our menu background, or uh, menu interface, sorry. So what do we want to do next? We want to add a button in there that's going to allow me to open up, say, an inventory screen. So here's how we would do that. Let's head back into Mono Develop. Now you want to, so you have a box. So what do you think you need to do now? And this is where it gets really tricky, right? You have to understand, so ask yourself what you're doing. Uh, you want to make a button, right? So, make a button, okay, but what else? You want people to be able to click that button, right? Make a button, be able, make a button, be able to click that button. If they click it, 
return inventory screen or whatever you want. It could be text, it doesn't matter. So here's how we do that. So we know we're going to use an if statement because if they click it, we're going to return inventory screen, right? So here's how we would insert a button, all right? Go ahead and start an if statement. And remember, if statements are true and false, true or false. So if they click the button, this happens. If they don't click the button, then I guess nothing happens, right? So we have our if statement. And what we're going to do is if the graphical user interface of a button is clicked, then we're going to allow them, then a screen will pop up or a bundle of text will pop up. So if a graphical user interface uh, button is clicked, that has, an, and then we have to set a rectangle for it, right? Because it's, that's what we have to do. Every button and every, every graphical user interface has a rectangle. So you would do graphical user interface button, new rectangle, and then we would do, let's see, if our menu is 10, 10, 100, 200, so we would do new rectangle would be, hmm, you're going to have to mess around with this. Go ahead and try 20 from the left, 30 from the top, Let's go ahead and try width. Let's go ahead and make it a 50 width with a height of with a height of 20. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, and then what do we want to name the button goes here? All right, so what do you want to name the button? We're going to name it uh, inventory. Alright, so let's go ahead and just save that and see what happens. Awesome, check that out. You have menu and then you have your inventory button that allows you to be clicked. So obviously the word can't fit in there. So and it looks like we should lower it a little. So sorry. Let's go ahead and go back into mono develop. And what do we want to do to this thing? We need a new rectangle. We're going to go 20 from the left. That's okay. But we need to go maybe 50 from the top. Let's go ahead and look at that. What's that going to look like? Perfect. All right. I'd say, I'd, I mean, for now, I'd say it's pretty good position for where we, what we want. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and do, um, we're going to change the width a little. Let's make it maybe 80 width and see if that fixes that. Okay, perfect. Check that out. Inventory, 80 width. Okay, that's awesome. So we want something to happen now when we click that button. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make it really simple. Um, but ideally, you can create another background, or you can create like an image, or you can create a monster, to drop out of nowhere, you can do whatever you want with it. It's really cool. So, if we click that button, here's what we want to happen. Say we want to, uh, we're going to use what's called debugging, right? Debug uh, dot log. And what this does is, whenever that button will be clicked, you can check the console, and it will print out a message for you. So debug dot log, and then we're going to add. Let's say a message of uh, your your inventory opens. Okay, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and save that. So look what happens to the console. Okay, my console is down at the very bottom where it's black. When I hit inventory, your inventory opens. That easy, guys. So now let's work on making a new main menu and it's now what if we don't want our menu to be all the way in the left here? What if we want like a main menu to have it centered in just awesome, right? Like the what I showed you in the beginning. So here let's, let's see how we can do that. And I'm not really gonna help you guys on this. I'm gonna mo mostly walk you through it and see if you can try it on your own. Right, because that's the point of these tutorials. You shouldn't be, you should not be following what I'm doing. You should be doing this on your own. But just a quick review. Uh, what we have here is a graphic. To start a graphic user interface, you have to type out GUI, 
and then you have to decide if you want to make a background, which is a box, or if you want to make a button, which is a button. And then you're going to make a new rectangle. Every graphic user interface is created with a new rectangle, and a rectangle has four key components. It has a position, and then it has content. The position is the is is a uh, is a, is pixels from the left, pixels from the top, your width, and then your height. So if you ever if you ever done web design, it's very similar to that. So it's it's honestly it's very easy. All right, and then whatever you want over here is your content. So let's talk about what we want in a main menu. So first things first, you know already know how to make a background. So go ahead and do that. All right, you already know that. So you have to make you have to make your G, your uh, your GUI. And I'm also not going to do the code here. So you're gonna have to figure this out on your own. You're gonna have to do the GUI, okay? And you're gonna make a box, a GUI background. So to do that, you would obviously do GUI dot box, and then you want to make a new rectangle. So you know that if you do ten from the left and ten from the top, you only get to about you only get to about there. So how would we get it centered? Well, ten from the left, ten pixels from the left. Why not try? Uh, I mean that's 10 so we have to obviously go a little further so try maybe like 150 from the left and maybe and then you can keep it at 10 from the top because that's just from the top if you want it centered in the middle try maybe 100 from the top and then what you're going to do is your width and height so how you know how chunky do you want the box um, you know if you want the box to be a nice a nice rectangle that's just you know big and it has you can have an image in it and you want like different buttons or anything like that then go ahead and make the uh, you know, you can make the the width maybe like 300, and then the height can be like 200, and you have a nice uh, you have a nice square. Now, what if you wanted to say make a menu, a main menu, and when you click a button, you wanted it to load your game? Okay. So what I'm going to show you now is how we would actually on the original one where you make your own button, how you would turn this inventory button when you click it into loading your level. So Unity has what's called application. Uh, it's an it's the call of an application. And what this is is this will allow you to call your different scenes. This is how you switch scenes in between games. So if you have a game that has five scenes or or anything like that, uh, you would use the application call. Now, how would I know this? It's simple. You go to the scripting reference and you type in level change because that's what it is, right? And you'll find out that it references application. So what you would do is you type in application and then it's simple. Just search for, let's see what they have. What makes sense? Uh, has pro license, no. Uh, internet reachability is editor, is loading level close but I don't know if that's we're not loading level we're not is loading level um loaded level we haven't loaded a level uh load level so application dot load level makes sense so what you do is application dot load level and then in parentheses you can string a name if you have it or it will go in numer uh, numerical order just parentheses one and when you click that when you save it and click inventory it would take you to your scene one. And if you put two in there, it will take you to scene two. Alright guys, I hope I explained that uh, pretty well. Uh, you know, if you have any problems with it, honestly just it's it's very it can be very intimidating to look at the new rect part, but I'm trying you, don't say new rect, say new rectangle. Understand that if you're going to have a graphical user interface, you have to have a rectangle. If you remember that, then you're going to be golden. And you know how to make a button, you know how to make a background. Now you have the tools that you can do, a quest interface, an inventory, you can do anything like that. Uh, if you get more advanced with it, you can even add prefabs, you can add images, um, colors, and and everything. I mean, you know, it's, the possibilities are limitless. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, based on feedback, I'll, I'll create another one and keep sending me requests. Thanks a lot.